Hey, howdy everybody, I've got my stupid hat, I'm back, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen other videos where I have this stupid hat, I got this on vacation, and I'm wearing it now because I want to get some use out of it. That, that's all. Alright, if you know anything about me, you know I love Vola. You know, I'm a huge, obsessive, big, massive, mega Vola fan. I love Vola. I listened to 24 Light Years on stream a couple months back. That was my first introduction to them, and I literally cried. And then I listened to both their albums, Applause of a Distant Crowd and Witness. And I liked Applause a lot more than Witness. Uh, some of the songs on Witness, I think, like in the later half, aren't quite as good for me, at least. They got better on repeat listens because Vola is a grower band, on, in my opinion. But a lot of the songs on Applause are just way better. Even though 24 Light Years is on Witness, that's the best song off of Witness, and I think 24 Light Years clears everything I've heard from them so far, but most songs off of Applause clear most songs on Witness, if that makes sense. Uh, if 24 Light Years was on Applause instead of Witness, I probably wouldn't listen to Witness that much. Just just gonna, just gonna put that out there. But there are some really good songs off of Witness too, like uh, what, whatever the first song is, Straight Lines and um, Forgetting uh, These Black Claws, like that, that stuff's very good. Love those songs. Anyway, let me hear this song. I'm very excited. I did not hear Paper Wolf, so I don't know what that song sounds like. I've heard some mixed things about it, so I think I'm just going to wait until the album drops. Excuse me, had a burp. And I will just hear it in the context of the album, and I think maybe then I'll appreciate it more. Who knows? I don't know. It's just, I just figured I, I, I won't listen to it. I'll just wait for the album. So, all right. I'm excited for this. I don't know what to expect. I'm just excited to see if it's more Vola, or if it's something different, or if, like, what happens. I don't know, because I heard Paper Wolf was different. So we'll hear what this is. Vola, break my lying tongue. Ooh. That was not where I expected it to go chord-wise, based on that intro part. Why are they in control? Like, in, in the game control, it looks like. <laughs> Ooh, good chord switch up there. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We're in five, four. Or two. Another week of misalignment. Very vibey. A solo end of you. Yeah. This is good. This goes hard. Yeah, that chord switch up goes hard. Of my obsessions, I'll let it strive and play. Why do we say? To confessions, I would have dared to stay. Break my heart. Mm. Dark chord progressions here. 
Where are we going? Are we gonna get a breakdown? Oh, okay. Looks like a synth bridge. One shot in the train, one word that you found the stain. Oh, come on. More. More. <laughs> I want more. Oh, my goodness. That last part sounded like um, these black claws, like the ending part here. sound like that. Very similar to that ending part. I would have liked more of that. I would have liked this. Ah, I wish I wish this build up this build up with the dark the the one dark chord which I I've talked about before like what the dark chord is, but it's when you do, when you take a chord and it's like, here, let me move it down so it sounds better. Nope, that was the wrong way. And then you go. When you move it, like, if... So we're in the key of B minor here. So B minor is our one chord. If you take this and you play, like, a half step up or a half step down, it gives a sort of, like, a darker feel to it. So that's kind of what's happening here when you've got the... Then go down a half step. It sounds a bit like that. So I would have liked if it had gone from this bridge section to like this this part at the end. And then lengthened that and done this a few times and cycled through that for a bit. That would have been that that would have been great. Because it built up, it built, 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 building, 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 and then it was just like synth. And then oh there's a breakdown, but it's gone. So I would have liked um, just a, like the same stuff, but maybe format it a little differently. Maybe have the synth stuff into the build up, into this breakdown, and then just run it like two, three times, and then it, then I, I think it would have been better. But the song as a whole and like everything was was still really good. It was just I think it was it was formatted a little weirdly, kind of like The Last of Us Two. If you know like how that game goes, there's something that happens at the beginning that is kind of weird and then it goes back in time and then you play through stuff that lead up to that event and it feels kind of weird and disjointed at, at times and the story itself and the narrative is good it's just the way it's told is a bit strange so i wonder if they're going to do something with that in the tv show they'll probably make it linear in in the in the tv show for the next couple seasons of last of us season two anyway same sort of thing here the song as a whole we're in the key of b minor so B is our, B minor is our one chord, and then we have one chord, three chord, five chord, down to a four chord, and then there's a switch up with the one, the three, the five, and then the six, back to the one. So that switch up happened a couple times, but this is a very vola chord progression. They'll take a chord progression that's pretty basic, one, three, five, four, but it's not like... Or like three, four, five, or something like that. They'll play it in a way that works really differently by starting it, and then they go down, down, and they feel like there's a lot of like downward chord progression to some of their music. I did talk about this in one of the other videos. I don't know if it was for applause or witness, or like I don't think it was a Twenty Four Light Years video when I heard that on stream, but it has a very downward feel to it like the chords are progressing down instead of some other songs and some other bands where they do them like jumping around or like moving up the chords feel down they have like a more grounded like downward pull to them i don't know if that makes any sense but it's part of what makes vola very unique for me is just the way that they play their chords so that's oops oops 
that's that. Uh, the the song as a whole, like I said, I would have liked a little bit more structural switch up with the ending. I think it was really good. I think this is going to be a grower. Uh, I said it at the beginning of the video too, but Vola is a grower band. A lot of what they do gets better with time. I think 24 Light Years was the only song that I heard first listen, and I loved it then, and I still love it just about as much as I did on first listen. My love hasn't really gotten bigger or smaller since I listened to it. It stayed about the same, and I think that was only with 24 Light Years. Most of the other songs have only gotten better with time. Like I said, like the last half of Witness is still not as good as applause but the first half of that in applause is is amazing on applause though i i do kind of like i'll sometimes skip smart friend or whaler sometimes vertigo too depending on my mood but vertigo is like just it's not a like a bad or lesser song it's just slower so if i'm in the mood for like more upbeat vola i'll skip it um but smart friend and whaler i think drag a little bit if that makes sense like they kind of get into this rut and then they keep going instead of progressing more with it and then all the other songs off of applause are amazing i love every single other one just except for smart friend and whaler are kind of like iffy like a like like a six out of ten song the rest are like at least eights mostly nines off of applause um yeah so that's my thoughts on this song it was really really good i think it could be better but I'm interested to hear how this sounds in the context of the album, and I hope they're doing the thing that bands have been doing nowadays, where they are releasing the more mid songs as singles, and then kind of blowing you away with the album songs. So I'm hoping that's the case, because I kind of like really appreciate when that happens. A lot of bands will release the they'll release the songs that they know are the best as singles to get people drawn in, and then the album drops, and the rest of the songs aren't as good, and they're like, yeah, the singles were all good, but I already heard those. Um, Bring Me the Horizon did not do that. <laughs> songs like Utopia and Limousine are the best on that album, and they were not singles. And some of the singles, while good, I think most of the non-singles off of the new Bring Me the Horizon album were better than the singles, except Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid was, was still a top-tier single. Um, but I'm interested to hear how this is gonna song in the con how this is gonna sound in the context of the album. So we'll see. Big fan of this. I'm going to give this song a 7 out of 10. Pretty solid. Could have been better, but it's still Vola and it's still good. And even, uh, I, th I think Marius said it. I th he said something along the lines of like, even mid Vola is still better than 90% of other music or, or other metalcore, metalcore or something like. Yeah, Marius said, talking about Paper Wolf, he said the main riff is one of the better ones they've written, so that carries a bit, but compared to other stuff, it's not as good. Uh, but to me, Vola is a straight 10 out of 10 band, so when they release a 7 out of, to 7 out of 10 song, it seems much worse than it is. I'll still take that over 95% of modern metalcore. Yeah, I agree. And then I snarkily came in and I said, I'll still take that over Invent Animate. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that that's all on my Discord, by the way. Hey, join my Discord. Link in description. We have a lot of fun there. Small community, but we're, we're a great one. Come join. Come hang out. It's a ton of fun there. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. While this song was was a little bit, like, not quite as good as something like 24 Light Years, which is a 10 out of 10 masterpiece song, Vol- My goodness, I burped, sorry. Vola, just as a band, as a whole, is just so good that even, like, a mediocre-ish song from them is still really good, and that's what I think about this. Like, this is like a 7 out of 10 track, but it's still very good. And I can tell that I'm gonna enjoy this more as time goes on, as I listen to it more. So thank you for watching my video. Check out my links in the description. Go look at stuff. I'm trying to self promo. I'm almost at a thousand subs. I think maybe I, I maybe I'll hit 900 today. I'm at like 899 last I looked, uh, and then I have only 100 to go, and I have a thousand subs. That's crazy. So please, if you're watching this video and you are not subscribed, please subscribe because that would be great if I could get to a thousand subs pretty soon. Thank you. Big milestone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks everybody watching the video. I'll see you all in my next video. Take care now. Love you all. Peace out. Bye bye.